Hey guys. Hey guys. First of all, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be speaking my truth. Am I changing my girlfriend for better or for worse? So before we get started, you know, if you guys know us, pause this video right quick and give me your opinion, good or bad, you know, there is no right or wrong answer. Like I said, that is your opinion. A second thing, I do want to make a disclaimer. Everything that is said in this video will be our opinions and our feelings. Um, there won't be any holding back. So if something hurts your feelings, guess what? I don't care, okay? Cause I'm speaking in my church, okay? <laughs> Also, before we jump into this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's jump right into it. Hey. Oh, no. Um, I don't know where to start. I guess because I'm getting um a different side of everything. You know, I'm just basically getting what everybody is saying so i am going to let babe talk first um hey. however she wants to start or whatever she wants to give you guys hey. and then i'll chime in and, and you know she'll speak her truth so technically we are speaking our truth i guess you should say so um without further ado babe and her cup of noodles okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna munch on my sandwich here all right, so pretty much what um, people are, like, telling me is, like, I've changed, I guess. Like, I'm not the same person that I used to be anymore. And, like, I've heard this from a few people. So, like, don't feel like I'm, like, you know, personally pulling somebody out because that's not the case. Taking shots. Yeah. Um, I've heard it from a few people for, like, a while. And they're like, you change. You're not the same person anymore. I guess like sometimes I can be mean or like I take it too far I guess I I really don't why would you think of this before so pretty much like I said just saying like I've changed or whatever I kind of have been a little distant from my friends and stuff like that and expressing how I feel and stuff like that so for the most part I don't feel like I've changed you know, people are thinking and saying that it's because of Sherry, ultimately. Some of it kind of is because she's, like, telling me I need to speak up, express myself, let it be known that, like, you know, this is how I'm feeling. And that's normally something that I don't do. So, I kind of just go with the flow or, like, I don't like conflict. So, like, I don't say anything. And I let a lot of stuff go, but at the same time, with it being a new year, I'm not gonna keep letting people run over me. That shit is over. over. That's why I've kind of like to slowly but surely start changing. Cause I'm always, I'm an Aquarius, if you didn't know. Like if you guys don't know, I'm an Aquarius, so. Get you one. I, I uh, I'm used to just not really saying anything, just sitting back, you know, a person. So, <laughs> it's slap. Yeah. I know your bacon salad is probably good, but this is bomb. You mm -hmm. making me second guess my sandwich. Our dog is over here on the end of the bed. No, you can't get up here. Pretty much that's what I'm getting. You know, for me, I feel like I've changed for the better, but some people are saying that I've, like, lost my swagger or whatever, like, <laughs> I, I, I used to walk around my high school, like, being able to pull any bitch or nigga, like, like, you know, do whatever I really wanted to do, like, I, but at the same time, I still have that swagger, I'm still me, but I'm in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, I have to change. I can't just be in a whole relationship and then turn around and be like, hey, baby, what's your number? You know what I'm saying? I could, but that's not me. That's not me. Listen. No. Um, On that, all I can say is, like, even if she was in a relationship, 
trust me, she could probably pull your nigga. <laughs> I can guarantee you she'd steal your bitch, okay? And that's not, I'm not saying that because she's my girlfriend. I'm not saying that just because I like her or, well, I love her. Uh, I am saying that because I see it firsthand for myself. Like, regardless, regardless of us being in a relationship, like, there are people that come to her like, hey, I've been liking you for a while now, but I ain't never said nothing, you know. Even when we first got together, there was bitches in her face, okay? So, mm, that's questionable. We're not going to name no names. I'm not going to name drop, okay? I'm not that petty, but um, there is some, and I definitely some. took a lot of heat when we first got to... We, t actually, we weren't even together. Like, we were <laughs> friends. We were friends. Like, that's the crazy part. Like, all these people that was like, oh, y'all was sleeping together, and y'all was together. We really, we really weren't. Like, we bonded over being fresh out of a relationship like we just click and being you done know? dirty so at the end of the day the, those same bitches that was talking shit wouldn't have had a shot but they would have had a shot and i only say they wouldn't have had a shot just because they're not her type if you know me i'm a gemini okay say what i want when i want don't give a fuck okay she said she goes with the flow i don't like that about her um, just because people tend to take advantage of that. And I'm going to say friends and family. Okay. Y'all take advantage of this woman. Y'all take her for granted. Okay. I have and have not changed her. Um, in more ways than one, like losing her swag. It's because she's starting to dress, starting to dress like a girl um, from the pictures that i've seen she has before um the difference is i personally am the one who made her feel comfortable into being able to bring that side out so much more we were friends first so i she was able to be her you know i'm not going to be like oh what the fuck is this you in a dress or you wearing makeup you supposed to be dressing like this or you supposed to be mac daddy that's what people do too like they'll like like the photos that i be posting looking <clears throat> fine as fuck of me dressing girly or whatever they be like whoa like you you know you supposed, you, to be, you supposed to be a stud like i'm really not listen she's when, far from a stud <laughs> I don't know where that came from, where people was like, you're supposed to be this, you're supposed to be that. Assumptions. I never, I never claimed to be that at all. So I don't know where that came from. But honestly, I am bisexual. I'm not gay no more. I, I am delivered. So there's that. Well, I'm here to say is she's not going to be the same person she was before. Okay, she's not going to be the person you see talking to anybody and everybody because we are together. Her style is changing. I mean, you grow. Growing, there comes maturity. <clears throat> you know, evolving into your true self. Yeah. Like, I feel like everybody kept her in this cocoon. Like, tried to keep her as a caterpillar. I let her embrace her true colors, her wings. If you really, really, really say you're her friend, then you would know. And honestly, honestly, I can only name one person. One, well, okay, two. <coughs> two. Two people who really, really know her and know that, okay, we know you're going to fuck it up, okay? And I will name drop, and that is Katrina and Sabrina. That's it. Everybody else is just like, oh, who are you? You're changing. You're not the same. You think so? Well, yeah. 
Yeah, that's true. I, I, I just personally feel like it's been four years. We've been together four years. I'm not going anywhere. Um, if you don't like me or you feel like I have changed her, guess what? I have. You know, and it's if that's not the same person you knew, you're not going to know this new person. And that's okay. You know, but you also have to learn to accept who she is now if that's who she chooses to be. Now, if she's putting up a front, then I guess you could call her on her bullshit, but <laughs> um, I don't see it. I mean, no I don't know. You either take it or you leave it. Pretty much. Yeah. Nobody wants to hear that they've changed for the worse. You know, especially if you feel like you have grown, you have matured, or, you know, you just decide that you don't want to deal with the same shit that you've been dealing with before. Or you want to be your full self. Like, or want to be your who full. Who are you to tell me or whoever that that person has changed? Maybe that that's the goal that they're going for. You know, what somebody is going through or thinking. So for you to approach it, if you want to approach it in a way, just be like, hey, you know, I've seen that you change. What's going on? Like, you know, if, if if you're wanting to know what's going on and make it more of a positive thing rather than, hey, you changed, you used to do this, you used to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes for certain people that can discourage that person and they feel like, okay, well, maybe I'm going in the wrong direction. And then <clears throat> people change back to who they used to be to conform for for the next person you know what i'm saying and that puts pressure on that person that ultimately might make somebody depressed because they're not, not being able, able to, to who their express truth. who they're, they're wanting to be mm -hmm. it didn't really bother me just because i know a lot of people who don't understand a bisexual relationship or just a gay relationship period Okay. Yeah, I know where you're going with this. <laughs> um, don't ask me who's the boy and who's the girl, okay? Because clearly we both have titties, okay? I think I think I got some titties I, up under here. I think it's some up under here. I don't know. They might be fake. Y'all want to see? Y'all want to see? No. <laughs> um, at the same time, like there's a certain way to approach approach certain things. Um, they're going to the countryside. Your perch. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. They said it bothered her. I mean, I don't have a problem answering stuff like that. It's just people have their own their own intake on what a gay relationship mm -hmm. is supposed to look like. Supposed to look like, and not every relationship is gonna be stud and film like there are some stud and stud so, i ain't never seen no stud and stud <laughs> <laughs> they out there but hey if that's you i mean that's Rocky, you be, be your you. butterfly you dig what i'm saying so what i'm saying is like <clears throat> there are fem and fem there are stud and fem and then there are i guess there are stud and stud you're not going to find her every day wearing some booty shorts and a crop top or or a lace ass shirt and some sandals and some heels Special like occasions. Like, she might get up and throw on some basketball shorts, some chucks and and a beanie, okay? And then we might go to a party and she going to throw on a dress and some sandals and snatch your nigga. <laughs> but I'm just Don't I'm just saying like it. She'll snatch your nigga. Okay? <laughs> if you mess with me, I'll take your man. I'm not even being funny. That's facts. Well, I'll okay? take your man. Just you just can't assume just by the way that somebody looks because there's days where I want to dress down and not dress up, you know. And that's so, I'm a girly girl. She's just a girl, you know, like. She pick and choose when she want to do that stuff, and that's okay. But who are you to try to assume and try to figure out, oh, who, who's the girl, who's the guy? You know, we're both girls. So this is, <clears throat> this is what I normally like. Either would wear. This is that's what I normally this is, what you would wear. This is normally what I would wear like every day, like just day in and day out. You have to realize, she's a Cali girl. She was born and raised practically 
in Cali. <clears throat> Till I was like know, 17, 16, 17. If you know Cali people, they have that type of swag. Like, it's going to be, you know, skateboardish type type stuff. But, at the same time, and this is like the stuff that I'm wearing now. I don't, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. So, like, people are like, what the fuck? So, people are now like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, are you... I now, all of a sudden, like, I've actually been by... Even when I used to wear... <clears throat> the stuff that I showed you before, like, I always had... A thing for the dick. No sugarcoating it. Um... She has actually had a boyfriend before. Uh, two boyfriends. Okay. Two boyfriends, a boyfriend, several boyfriends, several side niggas. Like, I just never told nobody my business. Because it's none of business your business, business until okay? Now. Listen, there are lines, okay? To be honest to me, your opinion as far as whether she changed or not is irrelevant, you know? Um... She's going to be who she is. So, have I changed my girlfriend for <laughs> better or for worse? Maybe both. Maybe it depends on who you who you like. I, I think who it are you? I think it depends on their perception of me. Such and such, when I told you the other day. You know, it. I think it really just depends on, on the outlook. Mm -hmm. um, or the person, really. I'm not going to say that I am, but I don't hold my You're tongue. You're not confrontational. I'm but just blunt. Yeah, like, at the same time, like you said, you don't take no shit. So, <clears throat> when it comes to, like, somebody telling you something or... You know, you're going to express... you. It's easier for you to express how you feel <coughs> rather than me express how I feel. And that mostly comes from me being where she was when I was younger. Like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't really stand up for myself or... And it's not even that she don't stand up for herself. She just... She finds any and every way possible to avoid conflict. And to be honest... That's why we balance each other out because we could go to like a restaurant and if the food is wrong, she gonna be okay with it. She gonna eat it. I'm gonna be like, no, this ain't right. This don't <laughs> taste right. And I'm not gonna eat it. Of course, we are going to change. We are going to yeah, grow. Yeah, and that's and another I, thing. I am going to bring side, sides out of her that nobody else could or would. Um, So I am changing her for the better. Um, as far as, like, changing her for the worse and taking her from people and trying to keep her from people, listen. Class. I don't know where that comes from. It's I, because I, it, I, I point out people's bullshit. But also, like, so, like, where, where that's coming from is because they're used to me being there for every single occasion. They're used to me being able to drop everything, I guess, and do be there. <clears throat> and, like, now I have a girlfriend. I have a family. Not saying that they're not family. It's not what I'm saying. I don't want anybody to take that the wrong way. But, like, I have stuff that I have already planned with my family here. So, it's like, if you guys got something going on, I've already made plans with Sherry and Kai. So, it's like, I can't just drop what I'm doing to go over there you know what i'm saying like i think that might be why but like you know they're always so used to us going out hanging out doing stuff or you know always having like saturday sunday over there at mom's house or you know going out with friends and stuff like that but like got stuff that i'm in building. the middle of doing and building yet like i said like i i call people out i'm not really gonna make or any examples just because that's kind of like name dropping Confident and too. everybody would know what I'm talking about <laughs> but I mean just really know I know when you're bullshitting and some of y'all need to get y'all priorities together let me just say this okay there's not one of you and I mean not one of you mm, roughly about the last two years that she has been able to call I won't even say at the drop of the a dime that y'all were able to get to her and do what she asked you. Even if it wasn't right then and there, 
even if you could have called back a week later or a couple of days later, there's not one person that has really been there for her. The way that I'm there for other people. People can call her right now and be like, hey, da 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 And I can guarantee you that this video would stop and we do what we need to do and get to somebody. She don't have that same support. I just, I mean, we... Get it out. <laughs> Today, Junior. Fuck you. I just feel like since day one, I've been there. You know, like, we met because ah. somebody flaked on her. And, like, I mean, everybody... Everybody know that story, Everybody so there's no story. need for me. I to, already got in their ass. Too. Yeah, there's no need for us to name drop. And at the end of the day, that problem is solved because that person is somebody we both have been knowing for years. You know, and if it come down to it, if we need that person to ride, I'm pretty sure they probably would. But they do have their flake moments. Okay, even even her family, there has been times where she has had to come to me when we first started being friends and you know i've had to have her back even the people that were her friends before i was was just like no i see it firsthand you know so <clears throat> i'm not i'm not gonna put up with that bullshit and it's 2019 so i'm not personally i'm not putting up with it you know so Speaking her truth is going to be different from mine. So I don't want nobody to be like, oh, Sherry is the reason why you're doing this. People get fed up, you know. You okay? <coughs> That's why, like, you know, I said what I said. What was that? In the beginning. He, he oh, said, I didn't see the ball. Yeah, he's a quarterback. <clears throat> That's why I said what I said in the beginning. Like, she's not... Ultimately, any change is something that I personally wanted to do. And, like, we talked about it. I personally wanted to do. And, like, we talked about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more time for the people in the back? <laughs> Ultimately, any change is something that I personally wanted to do. Okay. So, like, everything that I've done so far as far as a change is something that I wanted to do. Like, ultimately, we and like I said, we've had a conversation before I even did it. Because <coughs> I told her, like, I'm about to do this. I'm about to switch it up. Mm -mm. I, something didn't sit well with my stomach. Um, I'm about to change. I'm about to switch it up. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, if that's you, do you. You know what I'm saying? If that's, if that's what you want to do. I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I support her 10,000%, you know. And also, too, what people don't understand is me being blunt and me speaking on a situation isn't until after I have seen the mood change, the attitude. From who? The mumbling. You. Oh. Um, about situations and then we will talk about it and then I'm speaking you know I'm not just jumping into middle in the middle of situations but I'm on the other end of those situations and at the same time I'm I'm telling her you know do what makes you happy be you do what you want to do you know I'm not I'm not just saying, oh, don't do that because this, this, and this, and I don't want you to. Like, that's not me. Like, I'm not the type of person that's going to try to take anyone away from their family, away from their friends. And that's another thing, like, a lot of people are saying that I am trying to take her away from people, and I'm not. And what people also need to understand, even day one, like, our first date, our first date, I literally... Oh, yeah, yeah. I literally waited on her for two hours because she I had to drop what she was doing. There. She had to drop what she was doing to go do something for someone else. And I know people are going to be like, oh, why'd you wait for two hours? Well, I wouldn't have waited. I would have left. At the end of the day, we had a bond. We were friends. 
And I actually liked her, you know, like, I mean, <laughs> it was that player, that swagger that y'all said I lost. No, I'm just playing. It really was. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. We had mutual friends, so. Which is crazy. It blows my mind every time I talk about this. Because that we it's the met. fact, Yeah, like, it's the fact that we. We met four years ago. We should have met eight eight years ago. Yeah. Because eight. we knew the same people, like legit the same people. Like when I moved out here, I moved out here with and and we lived out here with my auntie. Which is family to well not don't say I'm not family gonna like say that. it like that because yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh not that type of situation. No, it's okay, so her family is, you know, people that I have grown up around, you know, so um, we just, we have mutual connections, so we should have met a, a long, long, time ago. long time ago, and the crazy part is, we have been in each other's presence and, and never, never knew know, it, never, never noticed, noticed cause each like other. Because, like, her, where she used to go to church is where one of my friends, um, used to go to church or goes to church, and I used to come, like, you know, to the choir rehearsals and, and everything, and I was all in the choir singing, okay? And, and it is crazy because I never seen her with that person, like, ever. At least I could have, and I don't remember. But I just, I don't remember ever seeing her at church. I don't remember seeing her at choir rehearsals just because before I even got in the choir, I was there every Saturday with my grandmother and my aunt. So I would come to services and everything. Like even my friend that I used to come with, like we we just linked up again recently, and we had this conversation with him. And I was like, "Tell her, like I used to be tough with you, bro." And she just, I mean, she believed me, of course. But uh, yeah, we we should have met a long time ago. I just feel like. It wasn't the right timing, you know. We we met at the right time that we did because we our bond is just. I mean, I don't know how to put it. So I am definitely going to end this on. I don't care if you think I'm changing her for better or for worse. Like at the end of the day, I know she's happy. I'm happy. We're happy. We're doing okay. I mean, it is what it is. You Calm know? down, bro. He done worked. <laughs> he done got all hot and bothered and worked up some heat messing with my dog. <laughs> my do no. Girl. So, I'm kind of glad that babe is here with me to speak her truth along with mine so that you guys can see that I'm not out here to get y'all because I really don't care about nobody but Cornelia Yatani Michelle Hines. They ain't even gonna try to find me on Facebook. They need to find you on Facebook so y'all can see my lives and stuff um, and see what's coming up with babe. Like I said, that is, you know, another video, but um, there are going to be a lot more Speak <laughs> My Truth videos. A lot more. <laughs> so. Little ass nigga. You know, yeah, say it with your chest if you got anything to say. I mean, you know, speak, speak your, yeah, speak up, speak your truth, you know. In the comments, in real life, because most of y'all know us. Yeah, like I said in my disclaimer, like, these are our opinions, you know, these are our feelings, how we feel, you know, so... If you're feeling some type of way, I mean, you can speak up, but that is going to be a personal problem just because in 2019, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, in 2019, things are going to be changing. She said that's um, a personal problem. It is. It's going to be a personal problem just because, like I said, things are changing. And things mean. ain't gonna go like they used to. So, y'all think I'm a bitch now? Mm. I ain't even been a bitch. <laughs> I'm the, I'm, that's me. If you like this video, if you didn't like it, either way, give us a thumbs up because this is our truth. It's not your truth. Okay. So you can't um, get mad. 
I mean, you can share it. I'm pretty sure you are. You can share it to your mama, your daddy, her cousin, her auntie, her uncle, her grandma, her brother, her sister, the mom. Share it because I'm pretty sure everybody want to know. Did you see what Sherry said? Eh, I it's said gonna, it. it. It's going to go back to ultimately, did you, did you see what Sherry said? Yeah. Regardless of whatever the fuck I just said, it's, it's gonna still go going to be about, did you see what or hear what Sherry said? And I said it. I have no problem saying it again, but it will, you know, you can always click the share button and, you know, have proof of I said what I said. I said, I said what it. I said. I mean, ultimately, I, I feel like you didn't say anything wrong. I mean. In your eyes, I didn't say anything but, wrong. But this is where it goes back to the whole, I don't think I said it, but I'm always in the middle of everything. When it comes to situations, stuff, yeah. yeah, like I'm in the middle because people feel like I'm taking your side. Ultimately, when I'm looking in between, like I see both sides of everything, regardless of if it's an argument friendship debate like i see both sides so and sometimes I, I am right will and babe will come to me like if we will have our side conversations and babe is gonna come to me like okay you're overreacting you're overdoing it or babe you know you popped off mm -hmm. before you thought about it from this, this point, point of, of view. view and so we do have those conversations but everybody else don't see that just because i i don't feel like um me outing her in front of everybody is the right thing to do at that moment. So, like, I'll be like, all right, guys, like, you know, like, we're just going to leave it at that. Just shut the fuck up. Be quiet. And then She'll get in my ass. Get, when we get alone, I'm like, okay, listen, like, you overreacted on a situation. It didn't need to go as far as it did. Like, next time, just think about, you know, such and such a, like, and then I'm off in the corner pouting and being a baby. But then I'm like, okay, babe, you know, you're right. Like, so, I mean, but still at the end of the day, like, it's not, that that part is not for anybody to see. So everybody is still like, oh, you took her side, you took her side. And y'all don't even realize, <laughs> like, y'all were right. And I'm getting my, I'm over here getting my ass chewed. <laughs> Uh, I that made me, say that. That <laughs> made me think about Trey. Trey. <laughs> you need to um, me but me. no, seriously, like, I'm over here, like, getting chewed the fuck out about something. Mm -hmm. But y'all not gonna see that because... That's our know, business. That's our business. So, sometimes y'all are right, you know? Like, I'm not always right, and sometimes I am. But... I'm not going to tell y'all I was wrong because babe done already told me I was wrong. <laughs> and I'm not going to admit enough. that. That was enough in itself. Though. Yeah, that, that was enough. Babe telling me that I was wrong is enough. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like, we give each other balance. Whether it's good or bad. Like, we're not perfect. Trust me, we have our bad moments. But we have learned how to work through them talk through them and we learned how to work with each other you know so something i might have said three years ago that would have pissed her off and i was just like uh, um, i don't care you know that's not gonna happen now because i have learned how to address things got her trained First of, all, train, nigga. first of all i'm not no damn dog okay <laughs> i was thinking more along the lines of our kelly training but okay that i mean that is a way to put it just because i have learned how to address things for her you know so i mean technically she was right she just the way she be putting shit like she my pimp or something um, oh, yeah, it's just I can't remember I've been popping my collar, popping, popping my collar. That's that. That's us speaking That's our truth. Fact. And uh, there's going to be plenty more of these because I have a lot to talk about. So, um, don't care if you disliked it, but like, you know. And speak your truth down in the comment section. And subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Dunkin' it,